Welcome to TechRazor Zamari. In this video, we are going to learn how to schedule Cloud SQL Server instances to stop and start. Uh, so what happened, uh, let's say you have these uh, Dev, uh, QA and UAT instances uh, running in GCP Cloud and uh, uh, you are not really using them over the weekend, but you are still paying the money for that uh, via SQL, Server, SQL instances. Uh, so what you can do, probably Friday evening you can schedule them to stop the service and still you will pay for the disk and IP assigned to them. But you you will pay less amount so you can uh, uh, stop all those instances and then uh, Monday morning you can go ahead and uh, start them on schedule so you don't have to do it manually also uh, there could be scenarios where you have all these servers dev QA UAT and all that and in the evenings nobody use it and uh, then uh, also you can schedule you know in the evening to shut down or stop them and then uh, uh, later in the morning uh, you know you can uh, start those uh, instances so you will save tons of money by doing that now let's go ahead and take a look at how we can achieve that so first of all what we have here uh, if you look uh, right here I have uh, these uh, three instances uh, so uh, the schedule we are going to create you can uh, use for any of them you can use for SQL server you can use for Postgres and you can also use for MySQL instance uh, so right here I have a uh, uh, MySQL and then I have Postgres and then I have uh, SQL so uh, I just uh, restarting these two right now but uh, this is already started so we can start working with this one and uh, we will schedule to shut down this guy first uh, and meanwhile we will experiment with these as well okay so first of all uh, what we need uh, we need uh, to create uh, the uh, cloud uh, uh, job we need to create a job in the cloud uh, scheduler so if you don't have it uh, let's say you don't have it uh, and uh, you are on the navigation menu or dashboard and all that uh, not a big deal you are going to go ahead and uh, you are going to search for a cloud scheduler once you do that uh, it might ask you hey enable the api and all that and some other things uh, so you can go ahead and do it and then you're going to go ahead and create a new job so here first of all you will be providing uh, the name of your job so i will say sql uh, start stop demo okay so then uh, you have to provide the region I'm gonna run in the same region I have a US uh, central one no? that's where my uh, SQL instances are okay you can provide some uh, description and all that and then uh, you can define the frequency when you can uh, uh, want to shut down this or want to run this job so let's say if I am interested uh, in uh, uh, 55 minutes okay and uh, just uh, for uh, hour 11 uh, and then uh, every day you know um, and then uh, I can go every day and let me do this okay so if uh, you want to go further here and you can create a, uh, you can go to this uh, cron tab dot guru dot com uh, there is no com sorry cron tab dot guru if you go to this website you can change and build this the whole schedule here so let's say if I want to do like hey I want to do at 55 minute uh, at 11 o'clock every day in the during the day and uh, then uh, if I, I want to do it like nightly I will be saying uh, let's say 10 p.m. right so in that case uh, I will be doing uh, 22 okay and then I want to say every day you know of the uh, days here every day of the month and months uh, 1 to 12 so I just leaves asterisk and then day of the week every day so at uh, 55 minute uh, you know and 1055 uh, uh, my uh, service uh, this schedule will run and uh, then this job will run and stop the um, SQL service if I want to do the schedule that way and uh, uh, right now uh, we will just do uh, you know change according to the time right now because we want to experiment so it's uh, during the day 11 o'clock at 55 minutes so and then uh, you know we have this schedule now you can uh, select the time zone here so United States and uh, then in the United States you have multiple zones I'm gonna go with the New York and hit continue and here is uh, your target so you have two options here you have HTTP requests or you have a pub sub so here we are going to go with the HTTP if uh, you have uh, created a uh, Google function and then use the pub sub as a topic there and you can pay pass the payload and uh, you could have used the pub sub here too we will make another video on that one as well so go for HTTP for now and here you will provide the URL so I have uh, the URL already prepared this is uh, how you are going to be you are putting this URL 
so you will uh, use this uh, google apis.com backslash sql then you use one v1 beta uh, 4 and then uh, you have projects uh, and then your project name so let's go ahead and uh, provide our project name if you see right there i have tech brothers it projector so if i take you here i will replace exactly with the name of uh, my tech brothers it project okay and then my sql instance so you guys remember that tb sql is my instance so i can use this one and uh, let me paste it here okay one thing i want to show you actually uh, let me show you first uh, you know um, then we will talk about it okay i will provide the url here now here uh, you will be going to the post and uh, then uh, you're going to select a uh, patch we are doing a uh, http method patch and uh, we will go ahead and in the body what we are going to do we are going to provide this uh, information so if you will say always it means start if you will say never it means stop so we want to stop right so i'm going to take this and uh, put it here but uh, the schedule that you or job that you are going to create for morning you are going to go ahead and say always because you want to start your service in morning now in the authentication header we are going to go with the add authentication token and here uh, we have two uh, options here uh, sorry we have one option here called service account now there are multiple ways you could have used uh, the already existing service account so let's say if I go to the navigation menu, I go to the IAM admin, and then uh, if I go to the IAM, so right here, if you see, I have this uh, uh, app engine default service account. If uh, it was there, and uh, I could have simply go here in the edit, and I can add uh, the permissions. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's say um, I really don't need to provide this admin. I can simply remove this and uh, I can remove this client as well. I can leave SQL Cloud Editor. So that role will do this. Uh, so if I can use this account as the uh, app engine default service account that was already there, but I simply added one more role to it called Cloud SQL Editor or I can create my own service account. So if I want to go ahead and create my own service account and uh, then uh, go to service accounts, create new service account. And uh, I'm going to say uh, stop start demo. OK, so that uh, service account will be created, create and continue. Select a role and in our role is cloud SQL editor okay so we select that and then we continue and uh, we should be all good here hit to finish or done and you can see that uh, our stop start demo uh, service account is ready and we can go to IAM and see this account there as well so you can see right there okay so you can create your own or you can use the existing one and just add the cloud SQL editor to it as a role now I go back here and if I drop down refresh now I have this option I have app engine default service account or remember we just created a demo one so let's go with demo for now and here in the scope you are gonna just copy this part and paste it okay now that should do it and now we will continue and uh, you can go further here does not complete successfully it is uh, retried with the exponential back off uh, you know and all those kind of things so you can go further tries you know max tries attempts and everything so you can go through each of these tabs and uh, set the settings according to your need now what we are going to do here we are going to go ahead and create this job and uh, then we will execute so we are all done here see right there we have a sql start demo job here i can right click here and say force a job so once i do that uh, what happened uh, it has given me error right there and uh, then uh, I view log. I'm showing you this because I actually wasted some time here and I just want to make sure you don't do that same thing. So it is giving you a very weird error and it's saying, hey, you know what? Uh, you have permission denied status. Okay, that's what the error is. So it's not really 
great uh, error and uh, I uh, figure out like see right here that's my project name I used there so this is my project name I use instead of using my project name I should have used the ID so if I click right here it is actually project name and ID is exactly same here but see this one has a capital uh, IT PRG and this one as well and this is all small cases so that's the problem if I'm using any uh, project name you know uh, with the I, I, I'm supposed to use the ID so okay and this is all lowercase so if you do that then you're not gonna see this error so I just wanted to show you because sometime maybe you just copy or paste the name of that and say like oh my job is not working and the permission you probably dig into one billion things before you know figure out so I wasted uh, my time here so I can go back to this right there just and uh, I can just uh, uh, in after projects uh, is the project ID okay and same do for your instance in our case it's uh, exactly the same you know so we have a small everything okay great now we can copy this and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and paste it there Control V okay so we should be good here update and uh, let's let me show you the status of my SQL meanwhile we will go back and try again so right now they are all running so I'm gonna TB my SQL that's what we are gonna try to stop by running this uh, demo job so if I go here and say force a job start so now it is uh, it didn't really refresh automatically so once you it, it is done so you hit refresh so you see right that the, the green tick mark shows up there now we are all good here and what we can do we can go back here and then refresh our SQL tab right there okay here you can see that it is uh, being updated so now it is trying to stop it's gonna take uh, maybe some time you know and the while uh, it will stop a couple of minutes probably now what we can do we can do the same thing with the other TB SQL and the TB Postgres so this one you see just there it is stopped now we can go back here and go to my job and let's say I want to do on schedule so right now it is uh, uh, 11.59 so if uh, I want to do at exactly uh, 01 minute okay and then I want to do 00, zero okay so at 12 o'clock and then uh, in the, during the daytime that's what uh, I'm saying that so if I do this and here I will continue and then uh, now I can go further here actually I was only supposed to do just the instance name change instead of uh, TB MySQL TB SQL server okay I want to stop the SQL server and now I will hit continue and update and let's wait for it so it should run at 12 o'clock during the day at uh, 1 minute so 12 zero, 1 minute okay and uh, we did it for every day every m month and uh, you know uh, every day of the week I believe I made a mistake uh, ask me why because uh, when I say zero zero it is a um, night uh, 12 o'clock not uh, during the day so it should be just simply 12 and 13 14 because it's used the army time so that's why uh, I, I try to use this one so if we are saying like hey I want to use the, the hour let's say 12 o'clock right so that's the uh, hour you can use so it is the hour is uh, between uh, 0 and 23 right so at the middle of the night uh, it is gonna when it is 12 o'clock it's gonna say 0 then 1 2 3 and then keep going so I made a mistake here let me go to schedule again so instead of 0 0 I should have say 12 you know when it is daytime so I'm gonna say 12 at uh, 3 minute okay so we are all good here now so I'm saying during the day time when it is 12 o'clock and the minute is 03 then run this uh, job sorry I totally screwed up with that uh, thing because um, I it is a uh, army uh, time format like uh, our start with the zero zero middle of the night you know and then one two three four and go all the way to 23 okay so now it is 1203 minute and it started successfully and it should uh, try to turn uh, 
uh, try to stop uh, this uh, service. So let me refresh and then we should be good. Okay, it is stopping right now. We can go ahead and do the Postgres as well. So if we want to see like, hey, it worked with the Postgres. Yeah, it will. It's just, it will work with any instance, uh, like you have a uh, any SQL uh, instance, uh, such as SQL Server or Postgres or MySQL, so it's just fine. Now we'll just change to the TB Postgres, okay? And uh, I will go ahead and uh, remember that here is the setting. We are saying never, and uh, that's why we are stopping, and uh, we'll go. Let me change this uh, at 1205. Okay, that's what I want to do. Update. And if I go to the instances, see right there, SQL stopped and MySQL stopped as well uh, earlier. So this is all good. And at 1205, then uh, Postgres should uh, stop too. So now you know how to uh, work with the schedule, you learn how to. Uh, see the error if you will provide uh, the project name uh, some capital uh, you know uh, alphabets that's where you're gonna have that problem uh, you need to use the project ID and here uh, we have uh, all working now let's say I want to go ahead and start uh, these uh, instances at uh, morning time uh, you will create another job there and then uh, just instead of where it says always uh, sorry, never. You will always. Uh, you are going to set to the always. That's all you are going to do. So now it is uh, um, twelve zero five, and uh, our trigger uh, job ran, and then uh, it is a uh, stop in this uh, instance. Uh, you can see right there. Okay. Now we can see right there. If I refresh, I should see this is run at uh, this time. You know, right there. Okay. So save with the success. And that's great. Now we we can use the same job, you know. Um, uh, let's see if we can make a copy. Actually, copy. Yep. So we can say instead of saying SQL start stop in the same, we can just say start, and then we can say start demo. Okay. This is gonna be just fine, and uh, then we are gonna go in region. Uh, same region, fine. Uh, continue instead of uh, the only thing we are going to do in the body right so in the body where it says never we will say always and then uh, it's going to start our instance and uh, i want to go ahead and say my instance name is uh, mysql that was stopped right tb mysql so now i am all good continue create and you see right there start sql um, sql start demo and uh, you can go ahead and set the time when you want in early morning and all that. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and just force it. So if you check our status of our all SQL instances, they're all stopped right there. Okay. So now with the new scheduler job, we can start them. And uh, as you see that I didn't schedule to run any specific time right now. So I'm going to go ahead and force it for now. So refresh. It completed successfully. Great. And we should uh, go ahead and take a look on our SQL instances status. But you see right there, it's not fully started yet, but it's uh, instances being updated. So if you click right there, it's uh, in process of starting. So finally, you can see that our MySQL is started. It's the same way you can uh, set up the new jobs for uh, other uh, instances and uh, they will start on the specific time, whatever you have defined uh, in the frequency. So I hope uh, this video is helpful. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I will put the link in the description so you can use them.